Hey, I'm Katie. And I'm Paul. And we're the butcher, the baker, and the queso maker. And we've been tagged by the bare bottle makers. So we were tagged to find out how we got our name. So we're here to tell you. Carpenter, carpenter, channel and it's this wild idea to start a YouTube channel but we needed a name so how, honey how did we get our name so we came about the name in a roundabout sort of way we wanted to come up with like a farm name because every good five acre parcel out of the city limits has to have a farm name and so we were thinking of different things where it's like blue pine acres because we have a, a business with blue pine in the name and then it was you know, we found out I was Scottish, so it was like, oh, do we do something like, like, she make her more, you know, only to find out that Americans don't know what more is, other than I want more pizza. So it, you know, it was, wow, what do we name it? And so we, we never named the farm. It still doesn't have a name. It still doesn't have a name. <laughs> and, uh, but consequently, we needed a name for the YouTube channel. And so this may come as a shock, but in college, uh, yeah, I went to college. That's not the shock, but the shock is that in college, I was a communications major. I have a degree in natural resources, planning and interpretation. And to answer the first question that comes to mind to you, I don't speak any other language. I speak English in bad English. The, uh, the interpretation part of the degree is really, um, it's like a, it's like a, pagan seminary you learn to preach the gospel of environmentalism and so that's what i learned to do over the course of four years and in the course of all of this and this is how it ties into our names uh our channel name we we were doing interpretive talks and one of my uh colleagues or a member of my cohort uh i guess they're colleagues if you get paid they're just people you went to school with if uh you're getting educated uh he <laughs> Yeah, it's true. So he worked at a brewery and he wanted to do a talk that incorporated brewing. And I'm like, hey, Matt, why don't you do the brewer, the baker, and the queso maker? Because all three of those things take, um, they take a fungus of some sort to get through their process or a yeast. And it's, they all involve microbial transformation within the food. Oh, that's a great idea. And he did it. He gave a rousing, he gave a rousing speech on, speech interpretive talk on the brewer, the baker, and the queso maker. So fast forward uh, 10 years, um, I've done absolutely zero with my degree. I do know how to make a mean espresso though. So uh, if you need a barista. Uh, anyway, so we're coming up with a channel name, right? Yeah. And, and you got, kind of got to be quirky and you kind of got to be different. And uh, I'd never seen the great outdoors. So I, I didn't think for a minute about shooting a bear in the butt with a light. Um, but it was like, oh, what could we call the channel? And I'm like, hey, honey, how about uh, the butcher, the baker, and the queso maker? And the, and the sort of the in-joke between the two of us is I'm the one that I do all the baking and uh, I'm the one that the sheep spend their final moments with, and uh, or the deer, and or anything else, the chickens too. And so I'm the butcher and the baker, and uh, Katie's getting into cheese making, and so to make the channel multicultural, we went with queso maker. It rolls off the tongue easier. It does. It's better it does. than the butcher, the baker, and the cheese maker. Right. It's the queso maker, and everybody loves queso, so. We went with it. And for the record, I make really, really, really mean uh, homemade English muffins and... Yeah, we're going to do a video on that too at some point. Grassini, which are really, it's 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 Italian for Olive Garden breadstick is what Grassini is. Uh, no offense to Italians out there. Uh, and we keep sourdough going on a regular basis. I'll, I make awesome scones too, because that's how you say it, scone. Um, we have a grain mill. 
We and do. We grind our own flour from our organic wheat berries. Yes. And so we're kind of we're kind of hippie-ish that way. Yeah, and I'm on the butchering side. We have we have a whole kit of of gear that we use only for butchering meat grinders. We have a really really high quality Swiss made scimitar butcher knife. We have uh, we have a knife that was made by a blacksmith in Coos. Coos Bay, Oregon, and so, you know, it's something that we, we've done enough to be proficient at it, and... Particular. Particular, yes. <laughs> and, you know, in the end, it's really good to be, um, be in touch with where your food comes from. That's what got us into the butchering. Um, the baking's always been a way of life, I think, mm -hmm. since from the early days of our marriage. I have a great story about my first wedding band that involves baking, but that's probably better for another time. And then the cheese making... Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really a better hobby than fast cars and loose girls. So, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, can't get in too much trouble with cheese. Keep that plunger handy. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a good hobby. So the three of them put together, we are rather, I am the butcher, the baker. And I'm and, the queso maker. Yeah. And ironically enough, she also makes the birthday cakes because I just don't have a knack for that. And. Oh. Yeah, and so our channel is not just butchering, baking, and queso or cheese making. It's kind of a smattering of everything because we have interests in everything. And if we can figure out how to make it and reproduce it, we're going to do it. Whether it's from international cuisines to how to, I don't know, you're making a trailer. Yeah, welding. Trailer. Yeah. So there's going to be just basic normal farmsteading, harm, homesteading, do-it-yourself things on our channel. So it's a just a smattering of everything and we are kind of those kind of people. We just... You know, it's the kind of the joke, kind of the joke around the house for a long time was, do you know how to do that? No, but I have YouTube. So here we are and hopefully we will empower other people along the way to figure out how to do the things that they want to do, but maybe otherwise don't know. Um, we live in the information age, so we may as well uh, share the information that we have and our experiences. And that's one of the one of the high points of having a channel and getting to do this is sharing what we learn and what we know. Yep, and it's fun living our lives out on camera. It's not what I expected because it takes a lot longer to do everything while you're videoing. But at the same time, it's really fun to share what we're doing and so that brings me to tagging we've got to tag some other channels well i was just thinking before we get to the tagging does this make us like white hillbilly kardashians no we're just conservative hippies yeah my butt's not big enough to be a kardashian but anyway it's not a reality show no it's reality just reality i guess but anyway so tagging so tagging so i'd like to tag the farm on quail hollow she has some great videos out there from apiary to she's got goats and chickens and pigs. She's got mangalitsa pigs. So those are pretty awesome. So I'm going to tag her. How did you get your name? How did you come up with Quail Hollow? And then we have another channel. Yes, the other channel that I want to give a shout out to and tag. It's not a homesteading channel. Um, Long story short, the uh, the guy that faithfully cut my hair for a number of years ended up going through some major positive life change, and in the process, he uh, he launched a YouTube channel and really really inspiring, really neat guy, super down to earth. Uh, I don't think he owes anyone money. His name's Adam. I'll just tell you that much. Uh, really nice. It's there and back films. He's learning to uh, film do film editing and does great stuff with drones, a lot of outdoor videos and that sort of thing. So I want to tag him and if you guys get a chance, head on over to his page. It's There and Back Films and it's really awesome to see what he's done to change his life and I have no doubt you'll be inspired by it too. So I'm going to tag you, Adam. Tell us all about your channel, how it got started and why it's There and Back Films and I'm just going to tell you right now, it has nothing to do with Hobbits. <laughs> Not for so, real. And this whole collaboration goes back to Two Wild Onions Homestead. So wanted to give a shout out to them. Thanks for starting this collaboration. Thank you, Bare Bottom Acres. And 
<laughs> go watch our Christmas tree video because it's exactly like Portlandia. <laughs> it was fun to make. So thank you guys. We appreciate your time. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. And the little bell notification so you know when we have new videos. Yes, the little bell notification. Hey, can I have a can I can I have a sip of my uh, Manhattan now? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs>